Have you ever pondered what lies at the heart of a truly fulfilling life? This question, simple in its wording, delves deep into the essence of our existence, inviting us on a journey of self, discovery, and spiritual awakening. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, with its endless demands and fleeting joys, we find ourselves yearning for something more profound, more enduring. This is where the ancient wisdom of Zen Buddhism offers a beacon of light. It presents a path to enlightenment, a journey not of seeking external pleasures, but of uncovering the boundless peace and happiness that reside within us. Today, we embark on this journey together, exploring the 12 Zen steps to spiritual growth and how they can transform our lives from the inside out. Life, in all its beauty and complexity, presents an array of challenges that test our resilience, patience, and spirit. From the stress of daily responsibilities to the uncertainty of the future, the quest for happiness often feels like a distant dream. Yet, it's in the shared nature of these struggles that we find a deep connection with one another. Imagine, for a moment, the calming presence of a serene lake, its surface smooth as glass, reflecting the world above. Just like the lake that experiences both the gentle caress of dawn's light and the tumultuous storms, our lives too are a canvas of varied experiences. By sharing stories and metaphors that mirror our collective journey, we forge a bond, reminding us that in our search for meaning, we are not alone. 12 Zen Steps for Spiritual Growth 1. Mindfulness in Daily Life Mindfulness in daily life extends far beyond the moments of intentional practice, such as meditation or yoga. It seeps into the very fabric of our existence, transforming each action, each thought, into an opportunity for presence and awareness. This Zen practice encourages us to awaken to the richness of the ordinary, to find the extraordinary hidden within the mundane. Whether we're washing dishes, walking to work, or simply listening to the rain, Mindfulness invites us to fully engage with the task at hand, to notice the sensations, emotions, and thoughts that arise without judgment or distraction. By cultivating mindfulness, we learn to appreciate life's simple pleasures, discovering joy and contentment in the here and now. It's the warmth of a cup of tea in our hands, the laughter of a friend, the gentle breeze on our face. These moments, when fully experienced, contribute to a profound sense of well, being in connection to the world around us. Mindfulness teaches us that every moment holds the potential for peace and happiness. We need only to be present to uncover it. Moreover, mindfulness in daily life acts as an anchor grounding us in the present amidst the storms of anxiety, stress, and the relentless pace of modern life. It offers a sanctuary of calm in the chaos, a place of refuge where we can return to our center, to our true selves. In this way, mindfulness is not just a practice but a way of being, a path to living with greater peace, clarity, and openness to the unfolding of each moment. 2. Simplicity and the Art of Decluttering The journey towards simplicity and the art of decluttering is not merely about organizing our physical spaces, but also about refining our inner landscapes. It's a call to introspection, to identify and let go of the myriad distractions, attachments, and unnecessary worries that consume our mental and emotional energy. In the Zen tradition, simplicity is revered not as an aesthetic choice, but as a profound practice that brings us closer to our essence, to the core of who we are beneath the layers of societal expectations and personal insecurities. By consciously choosing to live more simply, 
We challenge the modern narrative that equates happiness with accumulation. We learn to distinguish between what truly nourishes our soul and what momentarily satisfies our senses. This discernment leads to a lighter way of living, where each possession, each activity, and each thought is imbued with intention and purpose. The act of decluttering then becomes a meditation in itself, a mindful examination of what serves our highest good. As we clear our physical environments, we simultaneously clear our minds, making space for creativity, growth, and peace to flourish. This newfound clarity enhances our ability to focus, make decisions, and engage with the world in a more meaningful way. Embracing simplicity allows us to navigate life with grace, anchored in the present moment, free from the burdens of excess. In this space of clarity and peace, we find the freedom to live authentically, aligned with our true values and aspirations. 3. Acceptance and Letting Go Acceptance and letting go are central tenets in the philosophy of Zen, guiding us towards a state of peace with the natural flow of life. This practice is akin to observing a river as it meanders through the landscape, sometimes calm and steady, at other times wild and untamed. Just as the river does not resist its course, acceptance invites us to flow with the inevitable changes and challenges life presents without clinging or aversion. It teaches us the strength and flexibility, the power in yielding to the present moment as it is, not as we wish it to be. Embracing life's impermanence allows us to appreciate the transient beauty of our experiences, understanding that just as seasons change, so too do the circumstances of our lives. This realization liberates us from the weight of holding onto past grievances or worrying about future uncertainties. By letting go of our rigid expectations and preconceived notions of how life should unfold, we open ourselves to the richness of the present, finding joy and contentment in the simplicity of being. Furthermore, acceptance empowers us to live authentically honoring our true selves without the masks and defenses erected in fear of judgment or failure. It encourages us to meet ourselves and others with compassion and understanding, recognizing that everyone is on their own unique journey. In this space of acceptance, we find the freedom to express our individuality, to explore, and to grow, unencumbered by the chains of past regrets or future anxieties. It is here, in the embrace of acceptance and the act of letting go, that we discover the serenity and fulfillment that come from living in harmony with the ever-changing tapestry of life. 4. Compassion and Kindness Compassion and kindness are not just passive feelings, but active forces that have the power to transform our lives and the world around us. In the teachings of Zen, these qualities are seen as essential expressions of our true nature. A way to return to our innate goodness and interconnectedness with all life. Practicing compassion means looking beyond our own needs and desires to recognize the suffering of others. And then taking action to alleviate that suffering in whatever way we can. It's an acknowledgement that every individual is fighting their own battles. Often invisible to the outside world. And that kindness can be a beacon of hope in their darkness. This practice begins with ourselves in cultivating self. Compassion. It involves treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a dear friend. This can be a challenging journey as it requires us to confront and heal the critical voices within that amplify our faults and diminish our worth. Yet, it is through this inner work that we develop the capacity to extend genuine compassion to others. Understanding that, like us, they too are on a path of growth and healing. As compassion blooms within us, it naturally leads to acts of kindness, both big and small. 
These acts. Whether a comforting word, a supportive gesture, or a commitment to service, ripple outwards, touching lives and inspiring further acts of love. The beauty of compassion and kindness lies in their ability to bridge divides, to dissolve the illusions of separation that lead to misunderstanding and conflict. In their place, a sense of unity and shared humanity emerges, revealing the profound truth of our interconnectedness. Through the practice of compassion and kindness, we not only alleviate the suffering of others, but also enrich our own lives. We discover a deeper joy and fulfillment, not in the accumulation of material wealth or accolades, but in the simple, profound acts of love. This transformative force has the potential to heal hearts, mend broken relationships, and weave a tapestry of peace and understanding across the globe. In embodying compassion and kindness, we become beacons of light in a world that so desperately needs it. Embodying the very essence of Zen in our daily lives. 5. Connection with Nature the connection with nature is a fundamental aspect of Zen practice, serving as a direct pathway to the understanding and embodiment of mindfulness and the transient nature of existence. In the embrace of the natural world, we are invited to witness the effortless flow of life, observing how effortlessly nature navigates change and renewal, the rhythmic cycle of the seasons, the birth and decay of foliage, and the ebb and flow of tides speak to the impermanent nature of all things. This constant state of flux in nature mirrors the continuous changes in our own lives, teaching us to embrace the present moment with grace and acceptance. Immersing ourselves in nature, we are offered countless lessons in resilience and adaptation. A tree bending in the wind, yet standing tall after the storm, teaches us flexibility and strength in the face of adversity. The seamless transition from day to night reminds us of the beauty in endings and the promise of new beginnings. These lessons, when taken to heart, encourage us to live more harmoniously, both with the environment and within our own lives, fostering a sense of peace and contentment. Moreover, Nature's simplicity is a call to strip away the unnecessary, to declutter our lives and minds, and focus on what truly matters. In the quietude of a forest or the vastness of a desert, we find space to breathe, to clear our thoughts, and to reconnect with our deeper selves. This connection is rejuvenating, offering a sanctuary from the noise and hustle of everyday life and rekindling our sense of wonder and joy in the simple act of being. This profound connection with nature also nurtures our sense of belonging to something greater than ourselves, dissolving the illusion of separation and awakening us to the interconnectedness of all life. As we walk in nature, we walk with all beings, sharing in the dance of existence, and contributing our own unique steps to the intricate pattern of life and embracing the lessons and healing offered by nature. We learn to live with greater mindfulness, appreciation, and harmony. We are reminded to cherish each moment, to adapt with resilience, and to live with a heart open to the beauty and wisdom of the natural world. This connection with nature is not just a retreat from the world, but a deeper engagement with the very essence of life grounding us in the present and guiding us on our path to enlightenment. 6. Meditation and Contemplation Meditation and contemplation stand as pillars within the Zen tradition, offering a sanctuary for the mind amid the turbulence of everyday existence. This practice is more than a technique. It's an invitation to embark on the deepest exploration of the self, to encounter the silence that speaks volumes, in the quietude of meditation, we step back from the incessant chatter of the mind, the relentless barrage of thoughts, fears, 
and desires that often dominate our consciousness. This stepping back is not an act of escapism, but a courageous act of presence. Confronting the noise to find the serene depths beneath. As we cultivate a regular meditation practice, we begin to notice its transformative effects permeating our daily lives. The peace and clarity gained from moments of deep contemplation extend beyond the meditation cushion, influencing our interactions, choices, and perceptions. The challenges and stressors that once seemed insurmountable are met with a newfound resilience and equanimity. As we learn to respond from a place of calm rather than react from a place of unrest, Moreover, meditation opens the gateway to profound self, discovery, in the silence of the mind. We hear the whispers of our true selves, guiding us towards our inner wisdom and light. This journey inward reveals the boundless joy and tranquility that reside within us, not as distant goals to be achieved, but as inherent aspects of our being. We discover that peace is not dependent on external conditions, but is a state that can be accessed at any moment. Through the simple act of turning inward and being present, this practice of meditation and contemplation is also a cultivation of mindfulness, allowing us to live with greater awareness and appreciation of the present moment. It teaches us to observe our thoughts and emotions without attachment recognizing them as transient waves in the vast ocean of our consciousness. Through this awareness, we gain the freedom to choose our path with intention, navigating the complexities of life with grace and insight. Embracing meditation and contemplation is thus a profound commitment to our spiritual growth and well-being. It is a journey that continually unfolds offering endless depths to explore and treasures to discover within the silence of our own hearts. Through this practice, we not only find peace, but also awaken to the fullness of life, embracing each moment with the joy and tranquility that are our true nature. 7. The Practice of Naan Attachment The Practice of Naan Attachment is a fundamental aspect of Zen philosophy offering a path to liberation from the cycles of desire and dissatisfaction that often entangle us. This concept is not about indifference or detachment from the world, but about forming a healthier relationship with our experiences and possessions. It teaches us to hold lightly to the things we value, understanding that our essence and happiness do not depend on them. In this practice, we learn to embrace the flow of life, celebrating moments of joy and navigating challenges with equanimity without being overly fixated on specific outcomes non attachment fosters a deep sense of inner peace and freedom as it liberates us from the endless pursuit of more more possessions more achievements more validation it encourages us to live fully in the present finding beauty and satisfaction in the simplicity of being. This way of living is not about renouncing the world or its pleasures, but about experiencing them fully while recognizing their impermanent nature. It's about enjoying a beautiful sunset, the company of loved ones, or the success in our endeavors, all while knowing that these experiences are fleeting, and that true contentment comes from within. Moreover, None. Attachment enhances our resilience, allowing us to adapt to change and loss with grace. By understanding that change is the only constant, we become more flexible and open to new experiences, learning and growing from them instead of resisting them. This adaptability is crucial for our emotional and spiritual well being as it helps us to navigate the inevitable ups and downs of life with a steadier heart. Practicing now. Attachment also deepens our connections with others, as it frees us from expectations and demands on how relationships should unfold. It allows us to love more freely, without conditions, 
appreciating others for who they are rather than what they can provide or represent in our lives. This unconditional presence and acceptance create more authentic and fulfilling relationships. Ultimately, the practice of non Attachment invites us to find contentment and joy in the richness of the present moment. Irrespective of external circumstances, it is a profound reminder that our well, being and happiness are not contingent on the external world, but are qualities that we can cultivate and access within ourselves at any moment. Through non attachment, we discover the freedom to live with openness, curiosity, and a deep sense of peace, embracing the transient beauty of the world while remaining inwardly free. 8. Mindful Eating and Living Mindful eating and living encompass a holistic approach to consumption, transforming it into an act of awareness and gratitude. This practice encourages us to slow down and appreciate the sensory experience of eating, recognizing the colors, textures, and flavors of our food. It's about acknowledging the journey of the food to our plate, the earth it grew from, the hands that harvested and prepared it, and cultivating gratitude for the nourishment it provides. By eating mindfully, we tune into our body's hunger and satiety signals, leading to a healthier relationship with food that transcends habitual eating or emotional cravings. But the principles of mindfulness extend far beyond the dining table, permeating all areas of our lives. Mindful living calls us to be intentional about how we spend our time, the media we consume, the conversations we engage in, and the energy we allow into our lives. It's about making conscious choices that align with our values and aspirations, fostering an environment that supports our will being and spiritual growth. This could mean opting to spend time in nature instead of scrolling through social media, choosing books and films that inspire and uplift us, or engaging in conversations that are enriching and meaningful. By adopting a mindful approach to eating and living, we cultivate a deep sense of presence and appreciation for the moment. This awareness transforms ordinary experiences into opportunities for joy and connection. Whether it's savoring a meal, enjoying a heartfelt conversation, or simply basking in the tranquility of a quiet moment. Mindful eating and living teach us that every act of consumption can be an act of love and reverence for life. A step towards living more consciously and fully. 9. Gratitude and Joy in the Present The practice of gratitude is a powerful tool in the Zen tradition for cultivating a deep sense of joy and contentment in our everyday lives. It shifts our focus from what is missing to the abundance that surrounds us, from the unattained desires to the countless blessings we often overlook. This shift in perspective is transformative, turning ordinary moments into sources of joy and appreciation. Whether it's the warmth of sunlight streaming through a window, the laughter of a friend, or the comfort of a home that shelters us, recognizing these gifts fills us with a profound sense of gratitude. Gratitude also teaches us to find beauty and value in the challenges we face, viewing them as opportunities for growth and learning rather than obstacles to our happiness. This attitude fosters resilience helping us to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. By appreciating the present moment, just as it is, we liberate ourselves from the perpetual longing for more or the fear of loss. And instead, we anchor ourselves in the richness of now. Moreover, gratitude has a ripple effect, enhancing our relationships and interactions with others. Expressing appreciation and acknowledging the contributions of those around us strengthens bonds, fosters kindness, and cultivates a supportive community. This interconnectedness is a fundamental principle in Zen, recognizing that our well, being is deeply linked to the well, being of others, 
Cultivating gratitude doesn't require grand gestures or extraordinary circumstances. It begins with small, daily practices such as keeping a gratitude journal, sharing moments of appreciation with loved ones, or simply taking a few moments each day to reflect on what we're thankful for. These practices attune our hearts to the abundance of life, transforming how we experience the world and ourselves within it. In essence, gratitude and joy in the present moment are not just passive states of being but active choices we make each day. They are the pathways to a fulfilled life, where happiness is not contingent on external achievements or possessions, but is found in the simplicity and beauty of the everyday. Through gratitude, we discover that the present moment, with all its imperfections and simplicity, is a profound gift to be cherished and celebrated. 10. Service and Community The principles of service and community are foundational to the Zen path, highlighting the interconnectedness of all beings and the transformative power of altruism. Sangha, the community of fellow practitioners, is not just a support system for individual spiritual growth, but also a field of practice for the cultivation of compassion, kindness, and mutual support. In this collective journey, every act of service, no matter how small, becomes a profound expression of our interconnectedness and a step towards the alleviation of suffering in the world. Engaging in service and building community are acts that transcend the boundaries of self, challenging the illusion of separation that often leads to isolation and disconnection. By giving of ourselves, be it through time, resources, or simple acts of kindness, we not only help others but also enrich our own lives. Discovering a sense of purpose and fulfillment that comes from contributing to the well, being of the larger whole. This reciprocal exchange nurtures a deep sense of belonging, reinforcing the understanding that we are not isolated individuals, but part of a vibrant tapestry of life. Moreover, the practice of service and participation in community cultivates a culture of empathy and understanding, breaking down barriers and fostering a more inclusive and compassionate society. It encourages us to look beyond our own needs and perspectives, to listen deeply and respond to the needs of others. This expansion of heart and mind is essential for personal and collective transformation, leading to a world where kindness, rather than self, interest, guides our actions. In the Zen tradition, Service and community are not optional extras, but essential components of the spiritual path. They are practical expressions of the teachings, bringing the principles of compassion, non-attachment, and mindfulness into the realm of everyday action. Through service, we embody the wisdom of Zen, and in community, we find strength, inspiration, and the collective courage to walk the path of enlightenment together. In this way, service and community are not just about helping others, but about co. Creating a more conscious, compassionate, and connected world. 11. The Art of Patience The Art of Patience, as nurtured in Zen practice, is a profound acknowledgement of life's inherent rhythms and the wisdom of letting things unfold in their natural course. This virtue is more than a passive waiting. It is an active engagement with the present moment, a cultivation of inner calm and resilience in the face of life's inevitable uncertainties and delays. Patience teaches us to release our grip on the need for immediate gratification, to soften our demands on the world, and to appreciate the journey as much as the destination. In the cultivation of patience, we learn to trust the process, understanding that our personal timing and the universe's timing may not always align according to our expectations. This trust is not a resignation to fate, but a recognition of the intricate web of causes and conditions that shape our lives. 
It's about seeing the value in each experience. Even those that challenge our patience. Recognizing them as opportunities for growth and deepening our capacity for compassion and understanding. Practicing patience with ourselves is particularly transformative. Allowing us to approach our own imperfections and the pace of our personal growth with kindness and forgiveness. This self. Compassion opens the space for genuine self. Improvement. Free from the harsh judgments that often accompany our perceived failures or slow progress. Similarly, when we extend patience to others, we foster relationships grounded in respect and empathy, creating a more tolerant and supportive community. Moreover, the art of patience is closely linked to mindfulness, as it encourages us to be fully present with our current circumstances. Rather than being consumed by the future or entangled in the past. In this presence, we find a wellspring of peace and contentment. Discovering that many of the treasures we seek through impatient striving are already available to us here and now. Zen teaches that patience is not merely a strategy for enduring the difficult times, but a way of engaging with life that enriches our entire being. It's a pathway to inner peace. A practice that softens our hearts and opens us to the subtle beauties and lessons woven into the fabric of our daily lives. Through the art of patience, we learn to move through the world with a grace and equanimity that transforms our experience of life's ebb and flow, leading us closer to the serene depths of enlightenment. 12. Continuous Learning and Growth Continuous learning and growth are essential components of the Zen path. Embodying the principle that enlightenment is not a destination, but a journey of endless unfolding and deepening. This approach to life encourages an attitude of openness and curiosity. Where every encounter, challenge, and moment is viewed as a teacher. By adopting this mindset, we transform the ordinary fabric of daily life into a rich tapestry of lessons and insights. Each experience offering seeds for contemplation and understanding. Zen emphasizes the importance of maintaining a beginner's mind and attitude of openness, eagerness, and lack of preconceptions. Even when studying at an advanced level, this concept, known as Shoshin in Japanese, is crucial for continuous growth. It allows us to approach every situation with freshness and a willingness to learn, preventing us from becoming stagnant in our beliefs and practices. With a beginner's mind, we remain open to the infinite possibilities that life presents, constantly discovering new aspects of ourselves and the world. This commitment to continuous learning also involves a deep introspection and self-inquiry constantly questioning our actions, motives, and the nature of our thoughts. Such introspection leads to self, awareness, a critical step on the path to enlightenment. It's through understanding ourselves, our patterns, triggers, and conditioning that we can transcend them, fostering a profound transformation from within. Moreover, Continuous learning and growth extend beyond personal development to include our interactions with others and the world. It involves learning from the diversity of people and perspectives we encounter, recognizing the value of each person's unique journey and wisdom. This openness enriches our understanding of the human experience, fostering compassion and empathy. Zen teaches us that every moment is an opportunity for learning and growth inviting us to live with intention and awareness. This lifelong journey of discovery keeps our minds flexible, our hearts open, and our spirits engaged in the endless dance of existence. As we walk this path, we find that the journey itself becomes the destination. Each step a revelation, each breath a lesson in the art of being fully alive. Throughout this exploration of the 12 Zen steps, 
it's crucial to approach each challenge and lesson with a positive and encouraging tone. Every step on this path is an opportunity for growth and transformation. These practices are not about reaching perfection, but about continually striving to embody the principles of mindfulness, compassion, and simplicity in our daily lives. Incorporating these Zen steps into daily life can begin with small, manageable practices. Start with a few minutes of meditation each day. Practice mindfulness in one daily activity. Or keep a gratitude journal. These small changes can have a profound impact. Gradually aligning our lives with the Zen path to enlightenment. As we conclude our exploration of smiling face with Halo, the path to enlightenment, 12 Zen steps for spiritual growth. Let us carry forward the insights and practices that resonate most deeply. This journey is both personal and universal. A path of continual growth and discovery. We are encouraged to apply these steps in our daily lives. Embracing each moment with mindfulness, compassion, and gratitude. Let this journey be one of joy, discovery, and profound transformation as we walk the Zen path to enlightenment together.